Let's take a look at another example at how we can create our own custom alpha. So I'm going to start with a cube 3D this time. Just as I did before, I'll convert this to a poly mesh. And once I do that, I'm going to hit Control D a few times just to add a bit more resolution. In my transform palette, I'm going to activate symmetry and make sure that I have X and Z turned on. Turn my draw size up quite a bit. And then in my 3D brush palette, I'll switch over to move. So what we want to do right now is just rough out the general shape of one of those little tiny rivets in a zipper. Okay, once you have the shape you're looking for, let's turn it on our side, click move. I'm going to turn off symmetry by tapping X, and then while I'm holding the shift key, I'll click and drag to draw a straight action line. Continuing to hold the shift key, I'll click on the circle or inside the circle on the right. That way I can condense this a little bit and squish it down. Now I'll position it on my canvas. Click edit and then click and drag another one into my canvas. Again, hit edit, and let's position this. I'll hold the shift key to snap it into place. Now that I've created both of these, I'll hit the edit button, move back over to my tool palette, and again select MRGZ Be Grabber. Click and drag to make your selection. Again, you'll notice that alpha has been loaded over here on the right. I can hit Control N to clear. Let's draw in our shirt. And let's create the zipper. For this, I'm going to use the 3D brush Stitch 3. I'll change the alpha over to the alpha I just created. But if I were to draw this in with the alpha in this position, I won't quite get the pattern I'm looking for. So I'll undo that. In my alpha pull down, I'll click rotate. That'll rotate it 90 degrees. Change my draw size a little bit. And then we'll draw in our zipper. Let's make this a bit smaller. And there we go.